Here we are looking at one of my favorite invasive species called mullen. It's originally native to northern Africa, Europe, and Asia, but it's spread all over temperate North America. The name of this plant comes from the Latin word mollus, which means soft, and the entire plant is really fuzzy. The leaves are long and lance-shaped, and they're really big at the bottom, and they get smaller as you go up the stalk. It's a biennial herb, so the very first year you get this basal rosette of leaves, but the second year it comes up with a flower stalk. The leaves were used medicinally. They were uh, dried and made into a tea that was used to treat respiratory conditions. The Navajo and the Amish also smoked the leaves as a treatment for asthma and coughs. The flowers grow on the stalk and they're yellow and they have five petals and these were also used medicinally. They were infused into an oil and used to treat earaches. Another cool thing about the stalks, people would dip them in tallow and use them as torches. Mullen produces a ton of seeds. Only one of these plants can produce over 100,000 seeds, and they remain viable for decades, so it's going to be hard to get rid of. They've dug up archaeological soil samples from the year 1300 that still have viable mullen seeds in them. But the good news is that they are really easily shaded out. The seeds need light to germinate. One fun fact, they're also said to ward off evil spirits. And my favorite part is I read that allegedly men in the Ozarks would use them to attract love. So the way it works is they would point the stock in the direction of the woman they loved, and if it bounced back, it meant she reciprocated. Something like this.